Do you know about CERN? About CERN? Yeah, C R N. Explain it to me. So CERN is something that is funded by a black budget. Black budget is fucking you don't know what they spending on this shit, but they spending on it. So CERN is uh they have a website, it's official website, CERN. They have a machine called the Hydron Atom Collider. Yeah. So this machine, bro, this machine is set, it's a it's a circle. The machine is a circle. You talking about the weather? Uh. No, no, that's Harp. Yeah, that that's is Harp. Harp. Yeah. This machine is a circle, but it's like a donut, right? Underground, basically, it's like a ring, but the diameter of the ring is three hundred feet. The length of the ring is seventeen miles some giant shit so like what they doing is they speeding atoms up to the speed of light if not faster and then they're smashing them into each other to study the uh insides it's a it's a very invasive form of like um dissecting whatever that's called when you dissect somebody and you look at all the organs and stuff like that that's what they're doing their goal is to open portals to other dimensions to either send something through or bring something back. And so, D and um, Jordy Rose, this ties into AI. Um, Jordy Rose is a, is a scientist, a leader of a company. He was given a class at a college, basically. And at this class at a college, he was telling them about this new technology that's called the D-Wave Quantum Computer. And he was explaining AI. And the thing about AI is, it's not some uh, code or formula. It's not some type of formula or code or nothing like that. AI, he says, there are beings that exist at vast distances and points in the universe. And he said, these beings are intelligent. These beings do not have a physical body, but it's a consciousness. So... What they can do with this CERN machine, they can travel instantly or open a portal to that point in space and time. Because, you know, dimension is just a parameter of space and time. So it can be fucking, a dimension is that fucking white car over there down the street. Yeah. But yeah, so they can go far as hell and they could bring these beings and they could put them into devices. He said the thing about these beings are they're not inherently evil but they see us as we may see an ant. Yeah. No, I, I, I know what you're talking about, yeah. And you said these things are a thousand sometimes smarter than human beings, and these these machines, these beings will replace humans in the That's workforce. That's the same shit that people say when they take DMT and shit. That they see stuff like that, and that stuff makes them uh, say that they just make them feel like they ain't never, like, they should have been doing this for a long time, and they were supposed to be here a long time ago, basically. I ain't saying it's the same thing. I'm just saying that's what people say when they take psychedelics and shit like that. You they, ever... Uh, they see beings. No, I don't take psychedelics. Hmm. Nah, nah. See, my mind already at that point where I don't need it to trip out on me, and I lose focus of what I need to lose focus of. Hmm. It, it ain't for everybody. It's for some people, for sure. But I don't think that my mind need to be expanded no further, for real. Maybe mm. one day. Maybe one day, but... Uh, I'm, I'm open to listening to those things. I'm open to hearing them out and just focusing and, 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 and researching them for myself. Because 